821 is your time right now. Erica Meyer with the Humane Society of Pikes Peak Region here. We've got a kitty, a little friend, who wants to get out of here. Yes. <laughs> wants to leave. He wants to leave this table just as much as he wants to leave the shelter and find himself a forever home. You see how she did that? She's so good. Ritz. This is the two-year-old Ritz. Hello, Ritz. How are you? Would you like to meet Nika Lou, the you weather know, wolf? Ritz is... <laughs> I'm not really sure how he's going to be with dogs so that's why we kind of have Nika hidden yeah. um he seems to be all right with other cats yeah um but we just never know so never know um but he's a very friendly little guy he is known as a personal assistant in the humane society's felinality program okay, what does that mean personal assistant he, it means he really loves people he really loves attention he really loves getting played with mm -hmm, um like mm -hmm. he loves his cat toys um he is one of those cats that i think he's going to take a minute to adjust uh, yeah. to a new home just because the, the car ride was a little stressful for him. We it took first... about 30 seconds for him to adjust to me coming yeah. over here and scratching him. So yeah, <laughs> he likes that right there in the yeah. ear. Look at that kitty. So I think he's going to do well in, <laughs> in most homes. And like I said, you know, he might do great with a dog. You just you yeah. just never know until you get it in and give it a try. Now, you don't know how, how did this one come into the shelter? He came in as a stray. And that was actually one thing that I really wanted to talk about yeah, today. Exactly. We have gotten a lot of stray cats in this summer. Um, and we're just encouraging everyone everybody to if you lose your cat come to the Humane Society fill out a loss report check out all the stray cats we have there because yeah. your cat might already be there waiting for you we have some information yeah we have some home. information I want to put up on the screen and we're talking about to, uh, a way to keep the cats from being strays and being off the street uh, you know got to keep them indoors that's yeah. one big thing yeah right? keep you know keep your domestic cats indoors they you know they want to be with you anyway so keep them inside um, you know they might accidentally escape so we always say that even if you have an indoor cat mm -hmm. keep identification on them keep their license on them and also we recommend that you microchip them just in case they get out we scan all of the animals at the Humane Society and we love it when we find cats that have microchips we can call you right away and right. say we've got your cat come and get them <laughs> so a lot of people think about that it's, it's it's kind of a sec you do it a second nature for dogs but people don't maybe think about that with a cat to yeah. microchip right yeah and so you know that kind of helps us to w not only return the cat that you love so much but also it helps you know keep space in the shelter available for people um, or for strays that aren't reclaimed okay very so. cool so that is uh, th and this is Rex the two-year-old kitty available at the Humane Society $68 adoption fee right yeah that comes with all the perks yep. that come with it right he was just neutered yesterday he's got all of his vaccinations uh, he's got a voucher for a vet exam. He's been microchipped because we microchip all the cats Great. before we get them out the door and get them adopted. So he's a package deal, $68. Love that. That's very cool. More information, you can go to the website, hsppr.org. That's the Humane Society of Pikes Peak Region. Rex, we're going to try to find you a home, buddy, all right? And do cats have licenses? Do they get pulled over a lot, like by the cops? Well, you know, it happens. It happens speeding, to the best of them. Speeding cats exactly. when they're running away from Nika. Thank you very much. We'll stick